You're talking about moving one million people over five years, Mr. Yes, Powell. That's, that's 200,000 a that's year. Nothing. Do you seriously think that voluntary repatriation is going to uh, make 200,000 people a year uh, leave this country? It seems to me perfectly possible. Do you seriously think that a thousand pounds is going to induce a man to leave his home, the home that he's bought in this country? Yes, I know. The home in which he has lived perhaps yes, for 15 I know, years? I know very many such cases. You're confident of that? I don't know how many, but we have no means of knowing. Because, remember, for the last 25 years, the whole atmosphere, but all, the, all the pressure of opinion, all the pressure of government has been to say, this is permanent. What if they don't go? What if 200,000 people every year well, don't go to keep up to your schedule? I will wait, I will wait and see. I will wait and see. So I'm you not can't prepared. Say. I mean, I'm, you no. must have thought it through, Mr. Powell. I can't imagine that one uh, initiates a policy upon the basis of deciding in advance what one will do if it fails. To where would you repatriate those immigrants who were born here? to where they wanted to go. In most cases, they are the citizens of their countries of origin, although born in this country. Forty percent of the total immigrant population, I think, were born in this country. Yes, you and a high to... proportion of those are citizens under, of their countries of origin, under the laws you of just... their countries of origin. Brothers, sisters, respected elders, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, you describe it as their home yes, in your well, speech. Yes, of course it is. They've never uh, seen it, of course. Well, uh, an Englishman born to mi missionaries in China is still an Englishman. We're not, and, talking and about, we're not talking about those numbers. We're talking about a lot of people, Mr. Powell. Quite so, but, uh, but uh, we are talking about them individually. The grooming gangs have been traced back as far as the late 1980s. At-risk white English girls, often from broken homes and some as young as nine years old, were wooed or groomed by teenage Muslim boys called Romeos, and even by groups of Muslim men who hung around school gates. The plan was to make the girl feel important. She was given gifts and drugs, but she was being groomed to be a drug-addicted prostitute. Then came the gang rapes. Now, let's go back to my Englishman, the second generation born of missionaries in China. His home is England. He's always thought it's his home. Even though... No one would doubt that it was his home. His home certainly isn't China, Even... unless indeed he has opted out of his citizenship and opted out of his attachment. Oh my God! Oh my God! This attack stands out for its appalling, sickening cowardice. Londoners should be aware that there will be additional armed and unarmed police officers on our streets from tonight in order to keep Londoners and all those visiting our city safe. Terror is going to be present with us, uh, I think, in the future. I, I think it is a part of our lives, um, and I think that uh, we have to learn to live with it. Now, how would you deprive these people born here of their British citizenship? Their British I don't passport. know what you mean by British citizenship. Well, they believe that they're Many, British, you see, and uh, they're born here, and therefore they would, uh, they would argue that this is their home. Well, they don't argue that this is their home. The majority of them regard India or Jamaica or wherever it may be as their home. It is simply unrealistic to pretend that these people born here in increasing the massive numbers regard this country as their home. Well, they, they hold a British passport. They are entitled to a British passport. But I do wish you would cease to be so inhuman as to treat this as a matter of a travel document which a person holds and pay attention to the humane, to the humane and deep meaning of the concept of home. And what I have to tell you is that for these people, it is insulting to tell them that this country is their home. It is as insulting as it would be uh, to tell uh, an Englishman born uh, of English parents in India that therefore India and not England is his home.